Hello, here's something I was asked about recently, which is how to make a poster or a page with pictures and text all over the place. Sounds a fairly complex tool, but thing to do, but Affinity Photo is really great at it. You can do this quickly and easily. Let's start off, let's say File, New, and the type is, if we're going to print it there, page size, whatever you like. I've got A4 because I'm British. Um, DPI, this depends upon the printer that you're going to use. 300 is usually plenty for printing. I just say OK. And there we are. Notice there's no layer over here, so let's put one in so that I can play around a little bit with that later on. And I'll fill it with white. So I'll click on the flood fill. I've got the colour already up white there, so I'll click on that. Doesn't seem to have done anything here, but it's got a white layer there. So next let's start putting in a title so we go down here this to the these here i'll start with the artistic text tool and i'll put up here and say uh, let's say holiday madrid a bit small isn't it so let's make that a bit bigger drop down here and usually you just roll the mouse down you don't have to click on anything it changes as you go uh, that'll do, and font, what font do we want again, just roll down, it changes as you move, eh, something retro, that's nice. To move it around, you can sort of wait until you get the, the move cursor turning up, or you can click on the move tool, or just hit V, and now you can drag it around without worrying about what where the cursor's going to be. Notice then, as I move this around here, as I move it towards the centre, it'd be nice to get in the middle, and it snaps there. See the green line? That tells me I'm spot in the middle. That's because I've got this on here, and if I click down here, we've got snap to guides and so on. So that's all set up nicely, and I can do that there. Let's put that up. Then uh, let's put in a little, little heart tool up here. So it's just one of these here. This is all the shapes you can have. I'll put a heart up because it's nice. And I'll just put it up here, draw like that. And what colour do I want? I'll just click over here. There we go, let's have a red heart. So let's start putting in the pictures. For this, the magic one is file place. That's the one you need to know. That's all it is. Then pick a picture. Open that. It doesn't arrive automatically because it lets you draw it in. So I literally click and draw in the picture. So I'll do something like that. And then when I move around the place, I'll put it up here. See the little lines start appearing to tell me where I'm aligned to things. I'll put a bit of text underneath it. Here I'm going to right click here and use frame text because then I can draw it. See the way it automatically aligns there. I can draw a box over to here and there it snaps to the picture itself so I can say more plaza and I'll put that as being centered and there you go I've automatically centered it on the image because I've snapped the box across there so let's just carry on doing this file place uh, picture open that and draw this in. Notice it snaps to the edge of that there. I can also go back up here and there you go, it snapped to that one there so they know exactly the same height. And um, we put things over here and um, put this. And what I can do now, if I do shift and click of that, for example, um, I could group those together. See, these two are both selected here because every layer here is one of the elements here. So I can hit right click and group or just hit Control G. So now if I decide to move this about, they all come together nicely. There. And I can right click on that, for example. I can ungroup group it, put it back as it was. So it's quite easy to connect things together, move them around. So we'll put more text in here there we go see the snapping happening there automatically really easy 
uh, call that tall building maybe Super Mammal Company, jump it at a single bound then we'll go uh, file place another picture here, the palace uh, we'll put this one here I'll uh, just snap that in there and I got this one snapped to the other side, there we go see it automatically place things, it's so easy click on the frame text get the snapping lines up to that and say it was a cathedral and just one more file place uh, Madrid sunset let's do that one go up in that and I'll place this a bit more centrally perhaps I'll draw that like that there we go I'll line it with up with the bottom of that and I can then do a bit of text and see so just snap it up together with that to sunset see isn't that so easy to do and there we go you can do this as much as you like you can also use if you want for more snapping if you take the move tool go up into the rulers and drag lines down you can drag them anywhere you like and so if I want for example to move these things up a little bit to the edge, don't it up against the picture put that there then when I move this up it will snap to that line see and that will snap to that line there we go and so it's so easy to you do things like that so I can then drag that away if I want it and very very easy and let's just do one more thing whilst we're here we should put a border on it so we're going to click on, on the background here which down here you easily build up a lot of layers here so it's a good way to manage these start build them into groups so they they all fit in a bit easier so let's click on fx this one here and say we're going to do an inner glow um now let's do a let's do a color is it color overlay no let's do an outline that's the one we want outline and you're going to click that as yes as well what color should we have let's just have red and then watch what happens here the alignment by the way we've got to have that inside so that it appears in the picture and now we just increase the radius and as we increase the radius there we go here's our border appearing just like that we can close that and there's our picture and that's really quick and easy and it took only eight minutes to show you how to do it and, and to do it itself so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that one bye